In this video, I'll show you how to easily create and edit fill patterns for your Revit projects using PyRevit. The same patterns can then be exported to PAT files so that you can use them in AutoCAD. Hi everyone, Alberto here with BIM Lounge. Make sure you don't miss any of our weekly BIM productivity videos. Now let's get to work. So for this exercise, I'd like to show you how to create this uh, simple running 2x10 pattern. In order for PyRevit to create the pattern, you'll have to draft it using line work from the annotate detail line. And what I usually do is create the basic shape, for example, 2 by 10, and then create a layout based on this so that the pattern is what I'm expecting. See this running bond, making sure that you don't have any overlaps. You see that all these lines are unique. And also, as you can see, I created these two dashed lines that are supposed to mark the edge of my sample, but these dashed lines are not part of my pattern. Now, you see that this being a brick kind of pattern, you'll see that you have half brick here and half brick here, so that when these two half bricks stitch together, they will look exactly like these. Now on the left and right side, you'll see that I only have one line here and to avoid overlaps, I remove this line here. Now once we created a sample that we think it may work, let's go ahead and try PyRevit. And before we actually click on the command, we have to select the whole shape. And since these are not part of the pattern, I'm going to hold shift and remove them from my selection. And now this is the actual pattern. So back to PyRevit, make pattern. Let's give this a name, maybe running 2 by 10 and we want a model pattern and we want to create this new pattern we get a couple of prompts from pyrevit the first one is bottom left that's why i drew these lines so i can get this end point and then the top right and you see that the pattern has been created now the reason why i created this fill region is because the fill region is the first level. And if you go to edit type, the second level is where we actually specify this. So we don't want the grid. We want to go ahead and duplicate this. And you probably want to call it with the same name as the fill region itself so that they match. In this case, it's running two by 10. So that's a new fill region. And then let's go ahead and find the running two by 10 that we just created. And now they're associated. And this is a new pattern. Now what I recommend is that you inspect it to make sure that this sample is large enough. And uh, you can also tap through the elements and shift them. Now I'm using my uh, keyboard arrows to move this around to make sure that it actually tiles the way you want it to tile. If you also need this to be a hatch for AutoCAD, all you have to do is head over to PyRevit and make pattern. And in this case, I haven't selected a shape here. So I can go ahead and find the pattern that I already created running two by 10 and I can export it as PAT file. And then as you can see, PyRevit produced this uh, PAT file that is ready to be imported in AutoCAD. Hover over Make Pattern and hold Alt. 
in the test folder, there's a Revit file that you can open and you get access to all these nice samples. And um, it will give you an idea about how these were created based on a drafting sample. Now, this is probably the tool within PyRevit that I use the most. What is yours? Have you used PyRevit before? Let me know in the comments below. And also, let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.